We've done it. It's July 25th, 2023. And at the time that I'm speaking, we have 1,143 subscribers, which means that we have completed our first big milestone of 1,000 subscribers in less than 40 days. Thank you very much all. Over that period, our channel has received more than 84,000 views with excellent retention rate for our content. Just a little bit about the project. We actually started in February. I wrote a business plan and at the time, I pretty much had uh, really no idea <laughs> about what all of this entailed. Uh, I didn't even know how a camera worked. And so uh, even less, setting up this whole studio here that we've converted. This has kind of been a, a work of a dream and also works well with kind of the ongoing current economic situation in the United States. And, you know, as I was reading through statistics and finding that 39% of Americans cannot afford like a $400 emergency, I wanted to have a voice on this topic. And through those video podcasts, we actually do really care about the people that come on this show. Uh, we want them to succeed and want to give them the tools that hopefully they will take action on. And just a couple of uh, days ago, we actually had the good news that one of our first participants has become debt free and many are on their way. We are still a very small team. I still have my full-time job and so is my editor, Danica. Uh, but we are so far very proud of the variety of topics and financial case that we brought to you so far. Our channel has great goals and we do notice every single of your interactions, your comments, your subscriptions. It's just awesome to see that our content is resoning with people like yourself. If you're not yet subscribed, this is an invitation for you to join the journey. Without further ado, let's bring in the segment that you've all been waiting for, our special guest. Her video received the most views for multiple weeks in a row. She's accumulated 15,000 views. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the one and only favorite accountant, <laughs> Chelsea. Thank you for having me back. How are you doing, Chelsea? I'm doing all right. It's, doing all right? Yeah, it's busy at work, but I'm, I'm pushing through. Okay, okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So just for your information at home, we've recorded this video on April 19th. Mm -hmm. So it's been more than three months. And while we are a fairly small YouTube channel, your video instantly got traction and we know why we'll be discussing this. Actually, if you have not had the chance to check out the video, here is the link. We invite you to check it out and then come back to this video so you have a good understanding of the situation of our friend. However, if you've already watched it and you want a brief summary, there it is. Chelsea manages the finances of her and her partner. They both have some impulse buy tendencies. Chelsea, at the time of our recording, had accumulated $176,000 worth of debt, a lot of which was credit card debt, around $60,000. One of which is the infamous cruise of $4,600. Yes that we'll be checking if uh, Chelsea has actually taken that, that she put on her credit card. And at the time, she already had 11 maxed out credit cards. However, Chelsea at the end committed to take action, reducing her monthly spend and really being more mindful of how she uses debt, hopefully reducing your credit card debt. Yeah. So this was the situation when we left mm -hmm. three months ago. Since then, Chelsea... How has it been going? It's been going really well. Um, I've paid off about $8,000 of the debt. Nice. Okay. $8,000 of like credit card debt? Yes. Wow. How did you pay that out? I cleaned out my savings, honestly. Oh, you used the savings yeah. recommendation? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. At least you followed one of the recommendations on that to use your saving account towards your credit card debt. Mm -hmm. And that was probably the highest interest first, right? Yes. Highest interest okay. first. And that one's completely paid off. Awesome. Yeah. There you go. First one out. Did yeah. you actually, so during our video, we recommended Chelsea to use kind of a, a rope system where she would be able to track as she would go through credit cards. Did you use that? I didn't use that per se. Um, we have a whiteboard installed by our front door and I put uh, an arrow, a downward arrow on it with the total amount of debt on there. And then I've been highlighting or shading in when we pay more off. And it's also right by our front door. So every time we leave 
when you come home, <laughs> we have to look at it. I see. Okay, so you've had discussion with your partners. Mm-hmm. How has your partner reacted to that? They're on board, 100%. Yeah. Um, they are equally as motivated as I am to get out of everything and you know be able to have the extra income to do with what we want with it. Nice. So, so walk me through briefly. So you left the show. You know, we provided you with kind of a framework at the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, how did you feel at that time? Uh, I felt pretty depleted. Okay. I know that some of the comments were like, I can't believe she's so giggly and laughy. <laughs> As an autistic slash neurodivergent ADHD person, I have inappropriate reactions to situations, especially when I am supposed to be a, like a happy, bubbly person. So just giggling, like, uh, <laughs> that was more like nervous and uh, just masking overall for that. But um, afterwards, it's it's kind of, I mean, it hasn't really gone away, the like looming feeling because I because I, I just know because you know it's right there at the front door I walk by it every day but filing my taxes really helped <laughs> and going on the vacation really helped there you go let's so. speak about this vacation Chelsea yes. yes. so the cruise yes. did you take the cruise I did ay, 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 ay. I okay did, take it. did you so when was that first week of July oh so it was like a week ago I mean two weeks ago mm-hmm. did you downgrade Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> However, I will say we didn't spend any extra money once we were on the ship. But it's all inclu- it's all inclusive. Yeah. So we yeah, it was all inclusive. We didn't have to pay anything else once we got on the ship. And having that extra space was a, really nice for us because we both get very overstimulated. So mm-hmm. being able to go back to a space that wasn't tiny, that had windows, that had a balcony, so we could still enjoy the experience without having to be a part of all the lights and the noises and the smells and all of that. It was just nice to have the space and to have like a sanctuary to come back to. I see. Yeah. An expensive sanctuary as yes. we both know, but uh, you know, you've decided to live it on. You're going to pay it at some point, but at least you were mindful and knowing that what you were getting yourself into. So good to note on that. I wish you had the downgrade, but It's done. Let's move from that. Now I want to look at the future. So Chelsea, one of the components as well that we discussed last time that wasn't applicable yet, but now that's coming back in September, (coughs) student loans. I believe it was $55,000. How are you thinking about this? (sighs) I'm thinking about it. There's one option. It's going to be about $350 a month. But okay. it extends my loan to 24 years. And oh. I'll be paying double what I owed, which is crazy that they even allow that as an option. However, my only reason I might consider it is to get me over this hurdle of getting the credit cards paid off. Yes. And having that extra money to do yes. that. Because what's your interest on your student loan? Six to four, four ish is yeah. the average. Because when you go for the 350, can you pay it faster if you want to? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can yeah, pay yeah. it faster if you want to. The other option is the 10 years, and it's about 700 ish, uh, 750, mm. 700 a month. Depends on, again, how I play it. And that's just going to wipe out everything that I just got yeah. added on from my salary. Third option I'm not totally ruling out is um, to enroll in a community college class for about $600 for a quarter, and then my loans will be in deferral, and I won't have any student loan payments. <laughs> yeah, but they are going to hit you at some point. Yeah, but if that's, again, it's like $600 per quarter or do the 350 bucks a month or, you know, it like... Yeah, but it's $2,400. you are going to keep that forever? No, no. I'm just saying that, like, while I'm trying to get over this hurdle mm. of the credit cards... So, and I still haven't heard anything back from the unemployment department yet. So that my, my application is pending Mm -hmm. still. So Mm. TBD on that. I would not take additional debt. Well, no, I'm not saying take additional debt. I mean, if you go community college, you have to pay 2,400 per year. Oh no. The $600 per quarter. Per quarter, but that's. That's I would just pay that out of pocket. Right, but I mean it's. I wouldn't take on additional debt for it. Like, that would be like <clears throat> only that would be a, yeah. a workaround that like 
So maybe, that's a hard maybe, and I probably won't choose it. No, I but didn't. that it's one of those things where I thought about it and I was like, technically, they'd be in deferral. No, <laughs> Chelsea, it's like you're paying two thousand four hundred per year of interest on yeah, your loan. Probably, it's insane. Yeah. So, so my, if I were you, I would go for the three fifty. Go for the three fifty. Yeah, and reprioritize all your spend as much as you can on your credit card that's at thirty percent plus. Yeah. But keep that like. Just don't, you know, don't go for those loopholes. Don't loop try and do holes. a workaround. Look yeah, around. the loopholes. Okay. If it's costing you zero, mm, as long as it's legal, of course. <laughs> but here, no, yeah, you would no. be throwing away two thousand four hundred. No, no, no. And and you can afford the three fifty. You know. Yeah, I can. And but but you should work somehow to not count it as part of your base. It should be kind of an extra that you have to pull somehow. Yeah. I'm glad at least that you're aware of the situation mm -hmm. and that you're going to take the right action on this. Now is the time, for those of you out there, now is the time to be looking at it and to be applying for things like income-based repayment or the other types of repayment because it goes into effect September 1st, so you need to apply for it now. For like to change how you want things allocated or how you want to be paying. Who should back. they reach out to? Mine is through Fed Loan Servicing, and that's just like the federal loan website where you'd go to apply for more federal loans or if you to check out your student loans, where whoever your loan provider is, I would check out what their options are. They usually have a calculator of some sort in there that allows you to compare and contrast the different options for you for paying it off faster, paying with the lowest interest, paying with the lowest payments per month. Lowest payment is not always the best. Because huh? if you have a lowest payment at 15%, uh, 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 you mm -hmm. don't want that. So it's a right. computation of all of that. You're aware of that. I mm -hmm. love that. Thank you for the insights. You know, Chelsea works as an accountant in an accounting firm. So she's also aware of all those little nuances. With regards to your spending habit, you remember we split it in needs, wants, and gold. Mm -hmm. In the gold section, we recommended you to save about $1,000 per month. Mm -hmm. Has this been achievable? It is recently because I did get advanced in my job, so I was promoted. Very nice. And that came with a 20% pay increase, which ended up being about $700 extra dollars a month. Awesome. And then my partner has also gotten a pay increase, which will be, it's not as much because <laughs> they're in a different industry, but it'll be an, an extra almost $200 a month. Wow, okay. So that's 900 extra just that we don't have to try. It's just there. Okay, that's in. very good. Mm -hmm. And but have you still been trying? Because you know the thousand was at the time based on your income. Mm -hmm. Have you been more mindful of your spend? Like I know you 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 tend to have what you used to call the fuck it moments. The fuck it moments. There yes. you go. I have less fuck it moments. Okay. Um, especially with the reminder as I leave. Even more beyond that, we've we'll been more mindful of like what we spend on at the grocery store. Um, we're not buying extra crap that we don't need. Anything that we are purchasing, we're like, okay, do we need this right now? If we don't, can we save up for it over a couple of paychecks? Or can we go without? Just really mindful of that. I've been using more of the app to order because then you can see exactly what your cart total is going to be before you even check out. Very nice. Which is helpful. And it already adds all your deals on there for you and, and all of that. So that's been very helpful as well. More Trader Joe's trips. Okay. Because those are cheaper. That's where we spend like a lot of our money is the groceries. Okay. Um, One of the nice groceries that you can buy is outlets. Outlets are so nice. Oh, yeah. Grocery outlets. It's premium products oh, for yeah. like 50% off. It's nice. insane. You use that? There's one right by our house. I haven't gone there yet. That's, that's a key. That's a key. That's a key for food expenses. Okay. Quality. It's it's over, you know, overproduced items, and you okay. still maintain good quality. You don't have the variety of everything. Sure. But you have the price. It's a good point for you to try and think about. That's fair. The only like limitation is that I do have a gluten allergy, which okay. makes things more pricey if you need things like that. Mm -hmm. So we have switched to going to Costco for our breads, and they that comes with the two pack of the gluten free bread there, and I'll freeze one. Okay. And yeah, then little things. Little things. There. It all adds up. Um, I'm calling our cable service because they've decided to increase uh, our cable service price for some reason. For mm -hmm. no reason. So I'm going to call them and we're planning on switching our cell phones over to it as well. So we're hoping, nice. I'm hoping that if I call them, I'm like, hey, we're doing this. It's going to reduce everything down a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Every, every six months or, I mean, maximum a year, I call my phone provider, mm -hmm. my cable provider, and sometimes even car insurance. Yeah. And I'm like, 
Hey guys, what discounts do you have available? I'm potentially thinking about switching. Yeah. Loyalty to me has no real value personally. It's uh, It really depends on what industry, but for cell phone and so on, um, it's a math. They're all using the same stuff anyway. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad that you're actually taking action on this too. Okay, so mm. no real kind of fuck it purchases recently? No? no, no. Wow. The only thing that we had to buy was our pot for our coffee maker okay. bro broke uh, and uh, so we had to buy a replacement pot but we didn't have to pipe the entire coffee maker which was nice nothing else no wow so you then all the other purchases have been like thought about we've talked about them they haven't been like i'm just gonna do it the, you have I, been a process in place now yeah i've been wow. i went to the barbie movie but i planned to go to it and i plan to you know spend the money to go to it and enjoy it cuz like Very if nice. you don't spend the money on the things that you value then what's the point exactly but as long as you mm -hmm. so so at the time as part of your wants we uh, we recommended about 150 mm -hmm. but if you accounted for barbie as part of your wants yeah then it's game on like you should be allowed to spend that it's it's really not about feeling guilty of every spend that you send no if it is budgeted you are in your own rights to go with this. Yeah, exactly. So I'm glad that you're actually taking action on this. We do read your comments, guys. Especially some of the, the mean. mean ones. They're huh? mean. This is my real voice. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a, a person that says, and justification for spending is impulsive. And this is why she would continue to stay in debt. But that's not the case here. We see that Chelsea is actually taking action for this. So while we do value your comments, it is also important to value the person that sits here and sometimes read your comments too, you know? So let's look at a comment here from Donatello. She has two mandatory requirements, weed and getting her hair done. She's not getting out from her debt anytime soon. What do you have to answer to something like this? Number one, we get 40% off of the weed store because that's where my partner <laughs> works. So $80 a month on weed gets us a lot. We took a big tolerance break with this cruise and we have different priorities now. So we're smoking a little bit less, which is great all around. FYI, uh, weed is legal in the state of Washington. So I want to make it sure is. we keep it. Okay. Feder federally not, but Washington, yes. Second of all, as a woman in a client facing position, if I do not maintain a level of professionalism with my appearance, there is a level of confidence in my abilities that deteriorates. There is, like, so me not getting my hair done, if I don't get my hair done and I let it grow out and it looks terrible, then I look like, then I am judged because I don't get my hair done. If I get my hair done, I'm judged because I spent money on getting my hair done. So I'm doing it for myself. It, it's a level of confidence being a woman, like there's so many extra secondary and tertiary costs that go along with it that it's not even fair. Like I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. If I don't get my hair done, I'm a hag. If I get it done, I'm vapid. So, <laughs> okay. you know. No, that, that is fair. Thank you for bringing this <laughs> this real exposure, guys. Here we keep it real, okay? Um, but okay, we we still want to salute all the positive comments that you've received, though, yes. and and just the general encouragement as well that come from this. It's really easy to judge somebody when you're on the other side of a screen watching their story and be like, I can't believe it. I never would ever allow myself to get to that point. And it's like, I said that same thing. <laughs> All it takes is like not paying attention for a little bit, getting a little cocky and then bing, bang, boom, you're there too. Or like a couple <laughs> of like tragedies or like, you know, major events that you don't plan for. Things change in a second. Yes, Chelsea, one hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars. Still, uh, okay. you know, it's a <laughs> the things things that can battle. change in a second. Like I, I mean, agree, and that's you stop paying are... attention, and that's what happens. That's true. You stop paying attention, and that's what happens. That's why also emergency fund guys, you know it. But uh, yes, some also of the other spending, but we won't get back to this. Um, so since your uh, appearance, have you? kind of had colleagues coming to you or anything, or it's been kind of incognito. We are still so small, but who knows? I did have one coworker message me <laughs> on Teams and they were like, do you know Roman? Oh, really? And I was like, oh no. <laughs> hey, yes. Mm. Um, <laughs> well, okay, no, I'm, uh, I'm glad, but you know, uh, just to remember, at its core, we are not here shaming a person for their spend or just like putting them on the on the public face. No, the goal is to really to analyze the story, 
you know, give you a little bit of hard love for some of your spend that shouldn't be there. But at its core, as I mentioned, it's the interest of the person. They have done certain acts and their goal is to get out. And we are hoping that we are representing this accurately. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like it was the case? Yeah, I, I, I felt like I was being represented accurately. Oh. It was, I mean, it's the facts of the facts. Like, that's what, how it was and that's how it, it is. Well, Chelsea, as we wrap up our follow-up with you, is there any last thing that you want to share with us or anything that you want to respond or say in general about kind of your interaction through this whole experience? I put myself in that mess and... But you're getting out of I'm it. I'm getting out of it and I am fully confident that I can because I've, I've done it before, but also like... <laughs> I'm not the type of person to give up. I'm not the type of person to shy away from hard work. Like I just need to focus and have a, a goal standing in front of me and a good plan. Yeah. And, and you have it now. And I do. Okay. Well, guys, there you have it. The famous Chelsea accountant back on our show. We are very glad to hear good news. And as I mentioned previously, you know, we do follow with the guests that come in. And Chelsea is courageous again to come here and speak her mind and show us progress, which hopefully gives you hope that at home as well, if you're struggling financially, there is an exit. And, uh, and we hope to provide you much more content on that front, guys. Thank you again for the thousand subscribers. It's a pleasure to host this and speak with individuals like yourself. We invite you to like, subscribe as always, and we see you guys next time. Bye.